hello and welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to explain clustering with mean shift method in python mean shift is a non-parametric clustering method that finds cluster centers in a data it uses kernel density estimation to estimate the density of data points the algorithm calculates mean shift vector for each point directing them to areas of higher density in simple terms, the points move closer to where the data is most concentrated and this movement is guided by a bandwidth setting. In this tutorial, we'll briefly explore clustering data with MinShift algorithm using scikit-learn's MinShift class in Python. Here we cover the concept of MinShift, preparing data, clustering with MinShift, and source code listing. MinShift uh, is a non-parametric clustering algorithm uh, employing kernel density to discover peaks in a data, identifying cluster centers. It computes MinShift vector for each data point, directing them toward higher density regions. As its core, MinShift is a centroid-based clustering technique. This means that it identifies cluster centers by iteratively shifting data points towards the densest area in a region. The basic idea of the algorithm is to detect mean points toward the densest area in a region and to group the points based on those mean centers. The method initially selects some points in a certain zone, then it calculates the mean point in that zone and moves toward the denser area until convergence is achieved. The radius of, a, of the zone can be determined by using the bandwidth parameter in the model. Mean shift can be applied in image segmentation, object tracking, and clustering text data. We'll start loading the required libraries for this tutorial. Here we use uh, SQLR and cluster, dataset, smartplotlib, and the NumPy libraries. First, we'll create a sample dataset for clustering with makeblob function and visualize it in a scatter plot. Here we generate a synthetic data and visualize it in a plot. And this is the target data for us uh, to cluster. Scikit-learn provides the mean shift class to implement the algorithm. In this tutorial, we'll use this class to define the model. We define the mean shift model by setting the bandwidth parameter to 2, specifying the size of the window area, and fit it to the x data. Here we define the model. Uh, as you have noticed, uh, we didn't uh, define any cluster number here. Now we can get levels or cluster IDs and the center points of each cluster area. Using the level and the center data, we will visualize the clustered point by differentiating them with various colors and we will plot the center points of each, each cluster. And here is the result. The model uh, cluster data into five clusters and with different color. Uh, with, uh, here we highlighted uh, the center of each cluster. In this tutorial, we explored the mean shift clustering algorithm and applied to the synthetic data. The algorithm automatically identifies cluster centers without requiring us to specify uh, the number of clusters. Mean shift is particularly useful in scenarios where the data's natural grouping is not known in advance, so you can uh, experiment with different datasets and the parameters to gain a deeper understanding of mean shift clustering. And the source code is provided here. Please visit, visit my website. You can get all the source code and the materials I have covered here. Please subscribe my channel uh, and uh, hit like button if you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.